Hello and welcome to some daily news. Um, basically, I'm going to go um, talk a little bit about a couple of things for um, what had gone on this weekend and some stuff of what's going to hopefully be going up tonight. Um, anyway, um, I tried to do the recordings for, um, for um, Escape from Ravenhurst. I'm having a little bit of trouble. Um, hopefully I can get with the, um, with the, the recorder that I'm using. I can hopefully get through it. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, if we can, then I'll post a video for it. And so I, I spent so much time fooling with that that I didn't get around to the Bully Scholarship Edition. But we'll try for it today. I'll at least post some kind of inter introduction, um, hopefully soon. Anyway, um, what? So basically, this weekend I had some fun. I was playing some games. I played a bit of Diablo, which is a lot of fun. Um, I, have only, I still haven't gotten past Act 2 yet. I only made it to Act 2, and I'm about, probably about halfway through with Act 2 now, which is kind of fun. But, you know, that's about all I could do. It took me hours to get even that far. I know. I just, I love to explore it all, and I have to kill every demon and every monster. And I have to try and get all the achievements and try and find all the stuff. So, you know, I've been doing dealing with that. Anyway, um, so that's pretty much going go with that. Um, anyway, there there is some kind of cool news that I wanted to talk about. Um, anyway, um, for anybody who's kind of curious about the um, Mr. Pandaria, um, the beta has finally reached um, has the latest patch with the beta has finally gotten up to um, level 90. So there's all kinds of really cool stuff that you can do now. Like now you can actually get into um, training for the mounts and stuff, which are kind of cool. Um, and other stuff. It's a lot, it's getting much more stable the more time they put into it. I, I the one thing I'm just really kind of waiting for is the final build of the pet battles because they keep updating, like, you know, the they keep updating things and more and more of the, the creatures are getting, like, oh, here's some new attacks for the creature and here's some new attacks for this one, here, new attacks for this one but still not being able to test any of it. And it's like, wow, you did all this work. Or, you know, there's little bits where, like, here's the name of the new attack, but it's just not implemented yet. And stuff like that was kind of frustrating. But, um, yeah, that's kind of cool. So um, if you have the beta, go ahead and check it out um, just to try and get to level 90 and see kind of what that is. Because um, just in case you don't know, the fact of the matter is that this bait that um, what you see in the beta will be a complete expansion. Um, it will be a complete story arc for um, the Isle of Pandaria. Um, after, really, the first patch after um, the release of Mr. Pandaria will be the start of a new storyline. Um, basically, it, it goes from um, the Isle of Pandaria up to the final patch that they have talked about, which of course will be um, the big raid on Ogremar, which will be really kind of cool. Uh, I, I'm glad that at least everybody gets a chance to take down Garrosh, because I really hate that guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, he's had some really great moments in the game. But the problem is, in the end, he's still a douchebag. Anyway. And joining me today is Little Bandit. He's awfully cute. And I'm hoping to give him a little bit of eye candy to say, Ooh, look! It's with a bunny again. Okay. Anyway. I do have another bunny, but he's a little shy and it's kind of hard to get him on camera. But maybe next time. Who knows? Anyway. Um, yeah, the puppy dog's watching him again while I'm doing this. Anyway, um, so, yeah, I've been doing that. I've been doing the schoolwork. It's been driving me crazy because it's like, write, 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 write. And so I'm writing all this stuff and I'm not really doing any game programming, really. Um, we've been doing tutorials and stuff. Um, about the only real game stuff that we're doing for this intro class, unfortunately, is just making a game for the end ending semester and we're encouraged to make just something little and, and make one level of a game. Um, actually, it, if uh, what I'm planning on doing, um, there's an old game on 
like way back. It was called Clowns and Balloons, where you basically had these two little clowns and they'd go across the screen. And you'd have a little, um, another clown would fall down on the trampoline and you'd have to have them like um, eliminate the balloons. Well, I'm going to do something similar to it. The only thing is, it's being called, um, it's being called um, Cats versus Balloons. <laughs> Well, because I thought, because I don't really like cats, okay? Um, no offense to anybody who loves them. But I thought it'd be kind of fun um, with it, um, with the design docs and everything. Basically, the story behind it is you had a wild party the night before, and you woke up the next morning, and while everything is really, and you clean up the house, and because your parents were to come home. But the only problem is you can't seem to get the balloons that are up on the ceiling. So, um, and you find that the neighbor's cat has been sleeping, is sleeping in your living room. And so you decide that like any teenage boy, you know, like, well, like any teenager would think, hmm, let's see, um, neighbor's cat sleeping in the living room, balloons on the ceiling. Let's put two and two together. Let's use the cat. Let's fling the clat cat up and use him to pop the balloons. And that's basically what the, the game is about. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I, I think I've finally figured out how to do it so I can set up the design doc and stuff for um, school so I can actually get it ready. I'm hoping I can actually get it working. If I do, um, one of the little treats I'm going to do is I'll probably try and get a Kickstarter started for it to get a really good version of it out so that it's not like cheesy cheesy which it'll be or I'll just you know if you want to you can come onto my website and I'll probably make um I'll probably find somewhere to to load it up so people can try it out and whatnot and I can kind of get a little bit of is this fun or not um probably won't be all that much fun but who knows because I'm sure I'll be able to do more than one level I mean it's such a simple little game to do anyway um I may be able to make it be a full game, um, even before the end of the semester, which I have two weeks to do that in. Um, anyway, so that's that. Um, you know, I finally finished Lego Pirates of the Caribbean after, like, what, three or four weeks? And so now I'm working on Lego um, Star Wars Episode... Uh, Lego Star Wars 3. Oh, God, that is the worst... That is, like, one of the hardest games in the world. And the worst part about it is, okay, one of the achievements to get is you have to go through a level in story mode without dying, which so far has become um, has proven to be quite impossible. I'm hoping that I can't get enough cheats because one of the things is you you can use every cheat except for invincibility to do it, which is like oh well that it's like but it's so hard anyway that I don't know if all the cheats in the world extra will really help with it, but we'll see. Maybe it will. Maybe being able to one-shot them or something will make it really easy, and then I can just go and do it real quick um, for that. And um, but yeah, it's pretty fun so far. I've got most of the the actual storyline stuff of it done. I think I've just got a couple. Yeah, I'm finishing up the Ventress ones. Uh, Saj Ventress. God, she is so. <sighs> I know. Anyway, so I'll hopefully get that done sometime this week. I'm really hoping I can because, God, that thing is driving me nuts right now. I'm trying to, like, get a lot and get as many achievements as I can on the Lego games first before I try some of the higher one, harder ones so I can say, like, Ooh, look, I got all these achievements. Um, let's see if I can actually get some more, um, some good ones, you know. <laughs> well, you know, I have... Um, after this, I'm working on Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4. I've got, like, I, I've already done it once, and it bugged out on me. And I had, like, 60-something achievements, and I still have all those achievements at least set in. But I couldn't get a certain part because it the game actually bugged out, and then I couldn't get um, some of the extras. Collectibles weren't working, so, you know. Oh, well. So I'm hoping that when I play it this time through that it won't bug out on me so I can actually manage to get all the stuff. Anyway, so that's all of that. Um, I'm really hoping I can get the Return to Ravenhurst 
stuff up because it's really kind of cool. It's just like I said, that program that I'm using is having some really difficulty. I haven't quite figured out how to get it to allow me to kind of like record a whole, you know, record like a big chunk of it um, anyway. Because, you know, I have no problem with fraps, but because fraps won't work with it, um, I'm having a little bit of trouble. I mean, maybe one of you guys know what I could do. I mean, I've got this other program. It's the only thing I could find that actually recorded it somewhat well. Um, the only problem is none of the, the recording ones for it have really decent sound stuff. And this one's sound stuff, the only way it comes in is through the microphone. So I think it's going to end up having to be... Uh, I wanted to have it have con... Um, to have some kind of like comments or stuff on it. It looks like it won't. It'll just be a plain walkthrough and we'll see what I'll see what goes with that. Because um, I tried recording it. I thought I had gotten 45 minutes worth of recording and then I looked at the actual um, what it had recorded and all it created was like um, the first few minutes took 4 gigabytes and I'm like what? Now for that, I was like, uh, oh, that was worthless. Anyway, so I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to do um, Bully and hopefully have that up. Um, I think after I'm done with this, that I'm going to go and sit down and start the introduction to Bully. Um, give a little bit of background information, what the game's about. You know, just basically a little bit about the game's about. And a, and a bit of a critique of it. And then I'm going to, um, then the rest of the playthroughs, I think I'm going to go back to the old style. Um of just, okay, here's me playing the game um, for anybody who might want to get some hints and stuff, and I'll probably break them up to like 15 minute parts. So, you know, they're nice to digest and stuff. Because I think 15 minutes is a pretty good amount of time to kind of cut them up. And it's gonna, you know, I'll try to cut it at some point where it isn't gonna be like all of a sudden, oops, I'm in the middle of something cut it and then you know you have you just start back up in them and you're just in the middle of something now I'll try to have it on like a low point as best as I can it's close to 15 minutes that I can get it maybe a little longer maybe as long as 20 who knows but anyway so I'm going to do that um I really love bully though <laughs> um yeah so chapter one I'm hoping to try and get as much chapter one done as I can and post it to you or is it the introduction? No, it is actually chapter one. It starts with chapter one and goes on. Anyway, um, so that's kind of fun. <laughs> and I can't wait because it's got one of my favorite, because Bully has one of my favorite parts to it of all times. It's got one of my favorite pranks of all time, of course, the flaming um, bag of dog crap. Um, I might try to do a video version of some of the, um, of the, um, of the game um, design, I mean, not the game design, um, of my game reviews that I had done. The only problem is, <laughs> one of the games that I did, I was really pissed after watching. We had to do a FPS, so I thought, okay, you know, I'll pick Duke Nukem, because I played the original Duke Nukem back when it was an Apogee game. And God, that was the worst game that I'd ever, well, it was like, you know, the sad thing is, if you took out the, if you took out all of the, all of the stuff that made it M, mature, I mean, if you took out all that junk that they put in it, then it was actually a really good game. It's just all that stuff completely ruined it. Anyway, so you know, I'll probably try and do a couple of those. I'll probably test a couple and then see. But anyway, um, so I think that's just about it. Um, I still haven't gotten a chance to watch any Super Sentai or Kamen Rider, and I so badly want to. Um, I'll probably try this weekend to do it, because I have some school stuff I have to finish up first. But anyway, um, that's just about it for today. Um, we'll t see you tomorrow then, and um, can't wait to see you and give you some more news, and hopefully there'll be some stuff up um, actually in here. And don't be afraid to leave a comment. Um, no problem, okay? Um, talk to you later.